Hey everyone, welcome to another paint pouring video. In today's video, I am doing something similar to Russian nesting dolls, except that is Russian nesting flip cups. I just thought it'd be really interesting to see um, like really definitive lines in between um, different colors. And I thought I could achieve this effect by using uh, nesting cups. In retrospect, uh, it was a lot of work for the result that I got. Um, it was definitely a lot of fun to give it a try, but I think that I could probably achieve the same results by just doing my normal flip cups and uh, shooping it onto the canvas like I normally do. So I spent a fair amount of time today um, trying to get the cups to all be level um, when they're nested in each other. Uh, there's a little picture of my living room and me working away at it. Um, it was really important to be able to flip the cups over all at once and not have any of them leak out. So I broke up a bunch of popsicle sticks and taped them to the bottom of the respective cups. Um, very high tech, I know. And gave it a try. Now, the trick to this whole thing was uh, trying to figure out how much paint I had to put in each of the containers because I couldn't fill it all the way because when I jammed the next cup in, obviously the paint is displaced and uh, I didn't want it running over the sides. So I erred on the conservative side and didn't really fill up any of the cups uh, completely except for the baby one in the middle. But I actually got pretty close with uh, estimating how much paint to put in there. There was only one that I was so far off that I had to add some paint uh, after I stuck all the cups together. So I wasn't super impressed uh, with the cells that I got from this. I don't know if it was just because of the limited uh, number of colors that I put in each of the layers or what. Um, I think that I also had to move the uh, paint around a whole bunch and that broke up a whole bunch of my cells, uh, which I was kind of sad about. I really had to struggle here with the white paint. I'm really at the bottom of my white paint supply. I've got to go to the store and buy some more paint, but anyways, I was super excited. Uh, Looking at the paint leaking out from the one corner there, it looked like I was going to get some really awesome cells. Um, but as soon as I lifted up the cup, I realized uh, the error in my ways. Um, I was going to have to move the paint around too much, and there was no way that I was going to be able to co cover the canvas completely. And also when I moved the paint around with the cup still in the middle, um, the cup actually broke up my cells as well. Um, so I think that I probably should have taken them off all at once before I started moving the paint around. But I mean, hindsight is 20-20, uh, I suppose. So you can see it kind of ended up looking like a small universe or like a star or something. So I decided that I really needed to fill in all that white space around it. I kind of wished that I had left it as is, but uh, I was in the zone at the time and I wanted to keep on playing around. So I went with uh, five baby flip cups uh, with black and yellow and gold in them, uh, staying with the space theme. And I started dragging them around. I didn't like how uh, there is like really definite lines from my cups, but luckily I had been watching some of Anne Osborne's uh, videos and she reminded me that the straw is a fabulous thing to use when you want to move some of the paint around on the canvas, but not all of the paint. So I was able to mess up my lines uh, with this straw and it made it less busy somehow. Anyways, that's about it in terms of the painting. I have some news. Um, I actually got my website up and running finally. It's just the same as my YouTube handle 
is m4art2d.com. Um, I'm going to have a daily blog on there, or well, an almost daily blog. And I'm going to post uh, pictures of my paintings and uh, have stuff for sale on there. Um, so it'd be cool if you checked it out. Um, Go Easy On Me is still in the very beginning stages of it. Um, it's likely going to change a whole bunch and uh, there's going to be better pictures on there and definitely way more stuff for sale and a whole bunch more ranting and raving about art pouring stuff. So go check it out. I hope that you enjoyed watching my video today. If you did, remember to hit like and subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. Have a great day. Goodbye.